Good morning, everyone. Um, I was about to uh, attend, participate the weekly contest, but as soon as I woke up, the contest almost finished, so I didn't get to participate. But anyways, um, I thought I'll just pick one um, easy question and to continue to ramp myself back up. So let's quickly go through this legal problem. Uh, it's good to practice modular um, expression. So uh, let's quickly go through this one. Um, but I need to reflect on myself. I need to I be um, um, like be on time. Um, I shouldn't like uh, just miss. Um, I was planning to participate in this bi-weekly contest in the morning, which starts at uh, six thirty Pacific time. But uh, I woke up at almost seven thirty. Anyways, um, I'll try not to miss it uh, in tonight's uh, weekly contest. I don't know how bad <laughs> I will be wrecked, but anyways, uh, importance is uh, participation. Okay, let's see. Uh, legal problem 2515, shortest distance to target string in a circular array. So basically this array will be um, logically a circular one. So that means a circular array means the array's end connects to the array's beginning. So, since this is a string array, the last word of this array is hello, but it's also connected to the beginning word of this array. It's also hello. Okay. And we're also given a target, target string, hello, and the start index. Start index is just the index of the array. It's it says zero indexed circular circular string array, so it starts with zero. So in this given example one, um, this is zero, so this is one. We start from this word, and target is hello. So since this is a circular array, and we are allowed to move either to the next word, meaning to the right, or to the previous word, meaning to the left. So looking at this one, we don't need to go to the right. We can basically go to the left. So only one step. So the output is one, right? That's what the first example illustrates. So the second example is A, B, lead code. Target is lead code. Start index is zero. Start from here. It can go one step to the left, which is which reaches our target, which is lead code. So that is step one. Or you can go two steps, one and two, if you go to the right. So that's why we go to the left, which is the minimum steps, only one. All right. There's also cases that we cannot find the target string in the given array. So in this case, we just return minus one typical result because this target string eight, it doesn't even um, exist in this given string array. All right. So um, it's labeled as easy. It's pretty easy because we just need to go two directions. Um, we go. We need to go to go through two directions, um, one direction at a time to check. Um, because this is a circular array, we go from from the one on the right of this start index string to the right until we reach this. Um, until we reach this beginning point, we find if there is a word that matches the target and calculate the distance. We take the minimum of this approach and then we start from the start index to the left and then go all the way in the, in, in the circle until we reach the start index again from the other direction and then we take the minimum again. So in the end, we'll just return the minimum steps needed, which is the shortest distance. So throughout this logic, the um, most important thing is to use the modular sign because this is a circular array without the modular, you might easily go easily go out of bounds exception. And it's it will be difficult to turn that around um, to implement this um, circle logic. All right, with that said, let's just uh, quickly practice this. Um, one corner case is that the start index point, pointing at the string in the word matches exactly the target. In this case, we'll just return zero. Basically, we, we don't need to uh, move right or left. Uh, we, have the, we have found the word from the beginning. Okay. 
and so I'll call it answer. Uh, so in the in the beginning, so if words here start index equals target, that means we don't need to do anything. We just return zero. Otherwise, we'll create a variable with um, uh, to the right and then move to the left we take the main um, so we also want another variable which is n we we'll just use what we see in the description here n words length so first um, take this one below so first we'll go to the move to the right um, start start index plus one um, actually, no. A better way, or the correct way to do this is to i plus 1 modular n. So that just in case the start index is the very last one, because anyways, it's going to be that one. We have tons of test cases, and the correct logic should be like this. Start index plus 1, and then modular n which is the length of how many do I have? Yeah, which is the length of this array string, string array. And then what we'll have is as long as i doesn't equal that index, we'll keep doing this. i becomes that index. Let me see if my if my it doesn't equals to this. I think something is off. Uh, yeah, this is good, and then this is good. As long uh, so, the condition here is that I'm starting from the one on the right side. Only one step on the right of the start index, and I keep uh, incrementing it and do a modular of the length of this given string array so that it can loop around, start from the beginning of this array until it reaches the starting point. And we'll check if words i equals uh, target. If this is the case, we'll take the minimum here, math min answer. Uh, we need one more. Um, steps um, right steps to make it more uh, beginning from first step because we start from the one on the right distance on um, one distance on the right of the start index so right steps take the minimum from these uh, we increment this if we find it, we'll just break it. That means we found the matching word moving from the right direction. Then we'll just break out. Otherwise, we'll just keep incrementing these steps. So we do the same thing when moving to uh, We need to check if we can find a shorter distance if we move to, to the left. OK, so left steps. Also start from the one distance away on the left side. So oh, we int i equals. Um, so basically we use i minus one here. I minus one plus n modular n. So this is the start. No, this is wrong here. Let me see. It's tricky to write directly on the on. The, this is similar to the white ball instead of in IntelliJ, which helps which um, auto completes better. Um, all right. So this is I I do need one more open parenthesis here, and as long as I doesn't equal to start index, and then we'll keep doing this, which is I minus 1 plus n and then modular n. 
so that when we reach the beginning of this string array, we can turn around, go to the end of the string array. Uh, why is this one? It's campaign. That is because I don't, I don't need this one. Am I missing something here? Mm, this is for this. And uh, I think I need one more close parenthesis here. Okay, that's good. So the same logic. Um, so I'll just uh, copy paste this one and move it down here and change this one to this and to this. This should do the. Uh, this sign should go away. Hopefully it's still here. Is not used. No, it's used here. I believe it's just uh, something else with the uh, browser. Uh, and in the end, we need to check the case where it cannot be found. So the answer, I shouldn't initialize answer to be zero. I should initialize the answer to be words length. Because I'm taking the minimum. Zero is always the minimum. It's not going to be negative. And then here I check if it equals this, that means we were not able to find the exact match in the string array. In this case, we'll just return minus one, otherwise we we'll return the answer. All right, let's run this. Yeah, might not have been initialized. What the heck? Variable i might not have been initialized. It is apparently initialized here. And this is a different i. What do you mean by this? 919. You shouldn't really. Well, this I should work. Uh, the way I use it is I minus one plus N plus N modular. And I not equals to sound index, I equals this again. Unless this one is not closed off which is not the case. That is correct. Let me comment this one out and see. It's going to give me like uh, funny answers, but it should be uh, Time limit exceeded. I start index. Oh, sorry, it should not be start index. This one should be I. Should be i plus one, yeah. Starting next, you shouldn't change this one. I got the wrong answer. Um, okay, so that is because I need this task case. I'm basically moving to the right. No, uh, no, both cases need need me to move to the left. So I need to uncomment this and make sure that this case works. I might not have been initialized. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so what am I doing? So here should be start index. All right, accepted. And case one and case two. Accepted. Case. Let's see. Case three. Run. Let's accept it now. Let me submit it. Right, accepted. Um, good. Where am I? Be beating sixty-seven percent. Not super impressive. Uh, not bad either. Um, okay. Now let's walk through. Since the code is here, let's walk through the time complexity and space complexity. Um, time complexity is basically O of n. N is the length of this word. We, we don't have nested for loop, we have two for loops, but they are in order. So each one in the worst case, we go through the entire 
a string array. Um, that's it. Um, o n n is the length of a string array. Space complexity. Uh, do we need any extra space? No, we don't. So the space complexity is O one. It's constant. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I think this is very good practice to, um, as you see, uh, coding directly. This is similar to coding directly on the whiteboard. You need to pay attention. Of course, I'm I'm making this one compilable. Uh, coding on the whiteboard, you might not necessarily need to make it completely syntax error free and um, compilable, but uh, uh, this is very good practice to practice writing code directly on LiPo instead of writing on IntelliJ or in any IDE. So uh, yeah, just um, as long as you sort out the logic, it's pretty straightforward and it's very good practice with the modular sign. So if you guys like this video, please do me a favor and click the um, like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe, share and comment. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.